Hey guys, um, it's been a little while since I've done a check-in with you and um, it's been really interesting lately, hasn't it? Um, there was something that I just wanted to, to plant a wee seed with you to think about. It's been super crazy um, the last couple of days watching all of the posts and the reactions about what's going on. Um, you know, this we had this, uh, the Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis, um, or something generated by um, harp and weather modification, um, experimentation. We don't know. I sat outside until three in the morning because it was only spectacular to watch. Whatever it was, was completely out of my control. Whoever was generating it, whatever, if it was man-made, if it was organic, if it was coming from the universe, I had no control. What I did have control over was my behavior in that moment, which was, it was fabulous to watch and I really wanted to watch it and see it and I thought gosh it's been really interesting watching different people's reactions some people saw it and they were like oh my god and whether they believe it was the aurora borealis um you know or whether they believe um the thing that's gone out about um harp in Alaska running experiments between the 8th and the 10th of May and that this indeed generated the light show whatever it is what's really interesting is the people who were doing that um who were talking about that, I'm like, where'd you get your information? Do you know? You saw something on the internet that said to you that Harp did this, and then you passed that information on. And um, it's really, really interesting because everybody knows I'm looking up all the time. I've been talking about this stuff for years. So it's not like I suddenly jumped onto the scene and I'm like, oh my God, I've been talking about Harp and weather modification literally for years. Um, so I'm well aware that that's going on out there. What I'm also aware of is that there are certain things at this point in time in this realm, in this experience that are not in my immediate control. What is in my control is how I act and react with it. And so I walked out and a really interesting thing happened to me on that night. Um, my next door neighbor, I could still see her light on. And I was shouting. I was like, get out here and come have a look. And it was funny because it reminded me, it took me back to, you know, my early days, my youth, where um, I have always been able to see light and color, the auric field, if you like, around people, around animate and inanimate objects all of my life. And I didn't realize until much later that everyone didn't see the world that way. Um, it was actually a, a professor of mine in college, Dr. David Koch who just chuckled, he had the best laugh in the world, and he was talking one day about this old chiropractor um, who had a special ability, and he used to, could run his hand up at people's spine and feel the energy, and he's like, you know, kind of, it's just, he had this different ability, it's like people who can, you know, there's some people who can see the orc field, and some people who can't, and I was sitting in his class, and was 26 years old, 26, and I was like, why is he comparing something extraordinary to something that everybody can do? So, of course, my hand went up and I, you know, I asked, well, he laughed and he said, come see me after class. I'll never forget the day. And I remember going into his office and he, he was like a Cheshire cat sitting behind his desk and he had on this plaid shirt and he was kicked back with his feet up on the desk and he said, Miss Mary Helen, what color shirt do I have on? And I was like, what? And he, I said, uh, you know, it's plaid, it's got these stripes, you know, whatever. And I said, yeah. And he goes, and what color is the sky? And I was like, blue and the grass green. And what's, what's the color around my head right now? And I was like, well, it's kind of a mixture of da da da. And then he died laughing. And he was like, right there. He goes, so how long have you been under the impression that everybody sees light or the uh, auric or etheric field around somebody else. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I had made it 26 years without realizing that everyone else didn't see the world this way. So flash forward to the other night and I see my neighbor and I'm like, get out here, come see the Northern Lights, whatever. And she came out running out in, in the in the bathrobe and she was like, where, 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 where? And I, and I looked up and all of a sudden it clicked. And I was like, look at the white stripes there. And then she was like, oh, and then I held the phone up so she could look at it through my phone and all of a sudden it sprang the color for her. And I was just like, oh my gosh, it was one of those moments where I was standing outside watching the world in Technicolor, 
realizing that my eyes my entire life have always been on some different spectrum and it might be why i can see things differently why why is why i see dead people um and why i viewed um that display differently than she did until we were, held the phone up so she could see the color through the phone um and it was just it was really fascinating and i thought it was also interesting too because like i don't know about you guys but like on my phone when i go out on any given night i can't take pictures of constellations they don't show up in 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 vivid color yet on friday night um when the uh the lights were dancing across the sky all of a sudden i've got loads of photographs with perfect images of the constellations hmm um but what i do know was the show was spectacular so Saturday night, I'm up on, you know, the most hallowed grounds of the Hill of Ushnach celebrating um, the, uh, the fire festival, festival Beltana, you know, where, where back in the day, 21 counties could be seen from the top of this hill and they'd light the fire and, and welcome in the, the light. And, um, you know, so you've got someone over here is Bridget and you've got Lou over here. And it was just, I mean, it was so amazing. And I've been doing it for as long as it's been going on. And it was absolutely spectacular. So you're in the heart of everything that's reverent of the land um, far before Christianity. Um, this celebration, this remembrance of, this honor to, the homage of um, this way of life. And it was amazing. And then at the end of it, there was a fireworks display. So they had lit the bonfire, they'd done all this stuff, and here we are in this kind of, um, you know, the, the Catholic Church dubbed it pagan, but it's just like pre-Catholic Church, um, and pagan has nothing to do with it. It's the fact that they didn't believe and see things the same way that the Catholics did, and they'd been there a lot longer than they had. But anywho, so this fire lights up, da da da, da and then there's this incredible fireworks display. And I'm like, you know what? We have one world here and then we have a man-made fireworks display i thoroughly enjoyed it it was beautiful to watch it was not natural it didn't come from the land it wasn't even the same vibe as the bonfire that was lit um you know giving its reverence and 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 respects to a time long gone and i felt this very same way on friday night and i'm as i'm watching all the hoo-ha and everybody putting up their homer simpson memes and you know like hey everybody's looking dude i've been looking at the sky for years when a lot of people weren't i've been looking around me seeing the world differently when a lot of people couldn't and so i thought it was a great reminder you know we live in a very bizarre and strange and wonderful time you have come into a realm where the dichotomy is getting so diverse it's becoming so apparent you know you don't live in a world where everything's perfect and organic and fabulous and um you know we've got incredible technology and every single one of you who, who have put up you know a smart comment or a meme or a whatever we all do it you know you're doing it using technology by the by so remember that and remember how silly it looks and we get so sucked into this stuff i've been guilty of it a million times but it's just a reminder. So yeah, whatever way those lights appeared, they were spectacular. I literally sat out and watched. It was such an incredible show. Who made them? Who generated those lights? What generated those lights? I don't know. And I don't care because they're happening in my world. And they're, this is the world that I currently live in. And everything in here is not in my control, nor should it be. Because this dichotomy of darkness and light is set up to create a playground for me to show up, for me to respond, for me to either be always angry, always this and that, or for me to come in and adapt. Because guess what your real theme in life should be? Adapt or die. That's the truth that you can, you can actually live by. Everything else is changeable, whether it's real, whether it's not real. My friend Greg said the other day, he's like, imagine it's like we're inside, inside a computer and the Aurora, the Aurora or the image of the Aurora is like the screensaver. I thought that was so cute. You know, you are traversing multiple realities simultaneously and most of you don't even realize it. Um, a lot of you who do, you know, it makes you irritable and angry that people only see this and that and, you know, they can't, 
they can't get the big picture. But what if, just what if, the people who didn't see and the people who are kind of the B characters in your life, who are who you're so worried about and you're so upset about educating and, and doing this, what if they're there for your benefit? What if they're there to make you check in with yourself and go, hey, how's it going? Are you angry all the time? You know, are you feeling sick and upset all the time? Because then who's winning here? Um, because angry and sick and upset, I've done it. How about you? Um, so I really got a, a kick in the bum on Friday night when I looked up at the sky and I was going, I don't even know where this is coming from. I don't know if it's bad. I don't know if it's killing me, but my God, it's beautiful. And it reminded me of, you know, that scene, um, what was the movie, you know, where Bruce Willis saves, was it Bruce Willis saves the day and he's in the astronaut suit sitting on the moon. He knows he's dying, but Lord, he had a good view. It's like my daddy always said, when you go to the cliffs some more, you know, if you get too close to the edge and a gust of wind hits, be sure you look left because the view is better. And so I encourage you all just to take a breath because it's so easy to get caught up in all of this stuff. We live in a technological era. We live in a time where people are feeling frantic, where people are feeling overwhelmed. And sometimes we can be so overwhelmed by cynicism that we forget to see the beauty in front of us. And so I got a great reminder of that this weekend. And I thought I'd just pass that on and share that with you because I think it's really a, an important message. Yeah, there's a lot of sinister shit going on in the world right now, but there's also so much beauty. And you need to make sure that you're keeping yourself in balance with both because the beauty that you create here is going to be reflected out here. That that horror feeling, that, that feeling of, uh, you know, oh my God, what am I doing here? I feel so out of control. That's going to be reflected as well. Micro equals macro, y'all. Don't forget that. And also don't forget that this world that you came into, you picked it. You chose to come here because you wanted the experience of finding your way out, remembering who you really are. And that's, you already are that which you seek. So I encourage you all, you know what? Take a breather for a little while. If you've got to unplug, unplug, sit back and enjoy the show. Look around. Let people be what they want to be, do what they want to do, and drop some of the anger for a little while because the anger's making us sick. And, you know, that's okay. Sickness serves a great purpose because sometimes it reminds us, hey, you know, you daft bugger. Cop yourself on and enjoy the trip because you're the one who put yourself here. Enjoy what you came for. And you might not remember what you're here for, but know this. You wouldn't be here if you hadn't created the opportunity for you to get here because you are the op architect of your own reality. So um, I'm going to leave you with that. Love you. And I uh, hope you have a fabulous day. Peace out.